It's Thursday, March 29th, 2018, and it's time to talk about The Simpsons. Da -da. Okay, no more. Don't want to, can't get too much trouble. This is The Thursday Show, which is Nostalgia Trippin'. That's right, Nostalgia Trippin', where I talk about things that I remember. That's what nostalgia is. And I'm old. I've said this before, someday when my brain has gone completely to mush, these videos will be there somewhere to remind me just how... What? What were we doing? As you can see, normal settings, uh, the people finally came home, so I had to leave. So I'm scrambling. I don't have a lot of time to really do anything now that I'm back. i got a million things to do. So I'm going to get, but I got to stay disciplined. Make a video every day. Got to do a video every day. Every day, release a video. And keep on schedule. Do the things that you say you're going to do. No clickbait, even though I really don't know what clickbait is. Because if I did, I might have a lot more views. I don't know. But we're going to talk about The Simpsons. I watched The Simpsons forever. I'm still watching The Simpsons. I still watch the new episodes. Are they as good as the old ones? No. <laughs> no, they are not. Are they as memorable as the old ones? No. But do I still watch them? Yes. I still, 29 years later, am still watching The Simpsons. I watched Fox in its early days. They had weird early shows. The Tracy Ullman Show, of course, was one of them. They also had another one called, like, Duets or Partners or something that I can't remember. I used to watch them. Of course, Married with Children, everybody knows. Uh, that was one of their first early hits along with The Simpsons. But The Tracy Ullman Show, The Tracy Ullman Show was uh, was okay. I mean, it was okay. I, it, it, there used to be some stuff that made me laugh. But the main reason I used to watch was just before and just after the commercials, you got the little Simpsons skits. And I used to love those. And I go back and I've watched some of those old little Simpsons skits. They're not that funny. <laughs> it's like... I watched the first season of The Simpsons. And the first season of The Simpsons, it's not that good. The animation is still rough. The characters don't look right. Smithers. Uh, I, 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 I don't understand what they did with Smithers from the first season to the rest of his, you know, his life. But, you know, why, why didn't Smithers just stay I mean he was he was made a black guy in the early why not just keep him that why change him to yellow it, it didn't make sense but uh, you know I mean I, I've watched The Simpsons forever I remember The Simpsons one of the things Waylon Smithers was always kind of talked about you you didn't know if he was or if he wasn't but you suspected that he was because he really liked Mr. Burns. But then you thought to yourself, well, maybe it's just this weird fascination or obsession he has with Mr. Burns. But he still, you know, likes women too. But it's like it was always one of those. But one of the best, one of the best lines of, of the show, of course, is when I think it's the episode where I can't really remember the episode. But Bart and Lisa go to Smithers for help. And Smithers goes to turn on his computer. And, of course, there's a picture of Mr. Burns that says, you know, Smithers, you're quite good at turning me on. And then Smithers like, you probably should, for, you should probably forget that, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, it, I, I, you know, just some of that stuff, was it was terrific. Some of the best episodes, uh, You Only Live Twice, which was the episode where he moves to uh, something Cove. I can't remember the, but um, it, he moves to another place to work for Scorpio. And uh, he so he goes to he goes to work for Scorpio and he ends up with uh, he ends up doing a great job. He's super good at what he does. It's like they it's like you know Scorpio takes him in to meet his people and he's got like three guys that are just working. It's and you know Homer goes, uh, "You guys working?" They go, "Yes, Mister Simpson." It's like, "Can you work harder?" "Yes, sir, Mister Simpson." They said. You know, and it's like, and he's just sitting there going, oh, you know, and he's doing really good at his job, and but everybody else, of course, is having a terrible time. You know, there's the one part where he tackles Bond or whatever, 
<laughs> you know, James Bond is trying to get away. He tackles him, and they just shoot Mr. Bond, and, you know, Scorpio comes over to him, and it's like, good job, Homer. When you get home, there'll be an extra story on your house. <laughs> you know, and there was, uh, of course, the part where he's, uh, you know, it's like, I need some hammocks, and they've got like 18 hammock places in this, you know, tiny little, you know, this tiny little uh, community. And he's meeting Scorpio for the first time, and he goes, Homer, what's your dream? And then, you know, Homer goes, uh, to work for you, <laughs> Mr. Scorpion. And he goes, it's, first of all, it's Mr. Scorpio, and don't do that. It's like, my butt's for sitting, not for kissing. Uh, I, I, it's, it, the whole episode is so good. There's so many, uh, so many great lines from the episode. I love it. Um, so you get with, uh, the, you know, the end of the episode, you find out that Scorpio takes over the world. And, um, so he sits there and, uh, he goes, you know, he gets a package or he gets a letter from, you know, Mr. Scorpio Homer does. And it says, it's not the Dallas Cowboys, but this is something to help you get on your way to getting the Dallas Cowboys. And he looks out front and he goes, Oh, the Denver Broncos. <laughs> I'm a huge Broncos fan, so I love that line. And Marge goes, Well, I don't see what's wrong with owning the Denver Broncos. And then Homer goes, Marge, you just don't know football. <laughs> and it's like, you see the Denver Broncos falling all over each other and the ball bouncing off. Another great one is where uh, Homer goes, they're, they're asking Homer Simpson they're going to put him in the witness uh, protection program because Sideshow Bob is going to kill uh, Bart. So they go, well, who do you, you know, we're going to put you in, we're going to change your identity and, and make you somebody else. And he goes, ooh, 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 I want to be John Elway. And so it goes into a cutscene where he goes, and John Elway scores a last second touchdown and with his heroic efforts, the Broncos lose the Super Bowl 55-7 to to San Francisco. Uh, I mean, you know, they always ragged on the Broncos back then. They must have people that absolutely hated the Denver Broncos. But, of course, there's a part also in that episode where they're saying, okay, your name is now Homer Thompson, so let's practice. I'm going to call you Homer Thompson, and you respond. And they go, hello, Mr. Thompson, and Homer's just sitting there. And he goes, now remember, your name is Homer Thompson. Gotcha. I'm on the same page as you guys. Hello, Mr. Thompson. Homer just sits there. You know, and then, of course, they go to a time-lapse thing or whatever. They're, like, a lot of time has gone by, and, of course, they're all looking haggard and goes, I will step on your foot, and you just smile and nod. <laughs> and it's, hello, Mr. Thompson. He's stepping on his foot, and it's like Homer goes, I think he's talking to you. It's, yes, I love The Simpsons. Uh, there are so many, great uh, so many great episodes in The Simpsons. I wrote, of course, Mr. Plow is a great episode. But is it as good as everybody remembers it? Or do we just remember the song? Do we just remember how great the song was from Mr. Plow? Can, any, can you really remember any of the other lines that came out? Uh, the only other thing I can really ever think of is when he's sitting there and he's, do, he's filming the commercial and... You know, Bart sits there and goes, you are fully bonded and licensed by the government, right, Mr. Plow? Homer just goes, shut up, boy. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, uh, but do we really remember any any more than that? Uh, other than, you know, Homer bites the key because, he, you know, the they give him the key to the city and he bite, you know, it's got teeth marks in it because he thought there was chocolate in it or something. It's a good episode still, but it's not as good as some of the others. Uh, the episode where Homer wants to gain like three, you know, he wants to be over 300 pounds so he could be, so he can stay home on disability. And he gets his little computer workstation and he's going, you know, he's, he's going, well, how do you start this? He sits there and he goes, I see Katarl pick up. And he goes, oh, tab. I want a tab. And he hits the tab button and he puts a soda up or he puts a cup up to it. And he goes, oh, no time for a tab. The computer's starting. Actually, he goes, press any key to start. And he goes, there, there doesn't seem to be any any key. It's like, I am amusing myself because nobody watches the nostalgia trip in one. So I'm going to amuse myself. But I still watch it to this day, even with all of that stuff. That the, it, it, 
it's not as good as it used to be. It's really not. And I've watched every episode. I've, I've missed a couple over the years that I can't... Because I've seen just about every episode, I know I've missed two. And I don't know... I, it's somewhere in the 15, 16, 17 seasons. Um, you know, had a problem with the VCR recording because this is before I had a DVR. And if you think about it, the 15th, 16th, and 17th seasons were... 14, 13, and 12 years ago. <laughs> That's a long time ago, and I didn't have a DVR. I had a VCR. And I think it didn't record an episode, and then another one I forgot to set the recording. So, um, for any of you who are too young to know that a VCR, you had to actually manually set the recordings. Some of the better VCRs, you could set them to do a series record, kind of. You would just pick the time. It's not like the DVRs now where you just sit there and go, I want every new episode of this particular show when it's shown on the 5th. And as long as the 5th falls on a Tuesday, those are the episodes I want recorded. Can't do, you couldn't do that with a VCR. Can't really do that with a DVR either. But uh, does it, I mean... The Simpsons are obvious. There was a line in The Simpsons a long time ago. I think it was for their 143rd episode spectacular or something. Where Troy McClure says something to the effect of The Simpsons will be on for as long as the show remains profitable. <laughs> for as long as the ratings are good in the show or the show remains profitable. So obviously the show is still profitable. It's still making Fox some money. But are the ratings what they used to be? Of course not. Uh, at one time, this was a Thursday show. That's how highly it was thought of. They put it on Thursday. I don't know what it did on Thursdays. I, I, I don't think it succeeded very well. And then they put it back on Sunday, where it's pretty much anchored the Sunday night lineup forever. And I, they put so many shows around this. And the only one that really has survived alongside of it, Family Guy. Uh, so... Um, would I like to see The Simpsons? I think The Simpsons will make it to 30 seasons. Uh, you can tell they're running out of ideas because just about everybody in Springfield has lived with The Simpsons at one point in time. Uh, I'd like to see some characters come back. Herbert Powell. I'd love to see Herbert Powell come back. He was in two episodes. Danny DeVito did a great job as his voice. Danny DeVito's still alive. What's he really doing other than M&M commercials? Come on, Danny, get back on The Simpsons. Herbert Powell needs to come back. He may have come back in another episode. Maybe that's one of them that I missed. Um, the, the, of course, the House of Horrors, or the Tree House of Horrors. Great episodes. But the ones recently aren't bad. They seem to still do pretty good. You can watch all of the Tree House, Horror, uh, House, Tree House of Horrors episodes, and you can still get a lot of enjoyment out of those. Even the newer ones are still pretty good. Of course, probably the most memorable ones are the ones where he uh, goes into the 3D realm. Of course, the one where I think the signs, all the signs come to life. Uh, the one where the shining uh, or the shinning. <laughs> Shh, you want to get sued? <laughs> you mean the shining, you know, no beer and no TV make Homer something, something. Go crazy. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Beer Baron, another good episode. You know, it's just ah, so many good episodes. This episode went longer than I thought. It's just me rambling about The Simpsons. I, I tried to think of other topics, but The Simpsons were on. And I go, man, I, I started remembering some of the old Simpsons episodes and smiling and laughing to myself and thinking, I, I love that show. I still love it to this day. I still love that show. I don't want to miss any episodes. Even though they're not as good as they used to be, I don't want to miss... I don't want that show to go off the air. I know someday it will. But I don't want to see new episodes stop being made. I still... I still enjoy, during the TV season, getting those 20 to 22 brand new episodes, knowing that Bart, Lisa, Maggie, Homer, Marge, they're still there. They're still in Springfield. If they never give us another movie, I don't care. Just keep giving me more episodes. But would I like another movie? Of course I would. <laughs> uh, so, are you Simpsons fans? Is there any Simpsons fans that uh, can think of better episodes? I'm, I'm going to do a top ten episodes, uh, Simpsons episodes, 
uh, that'll be my my tens this week. So uh, with all that being said, to the troops, past, present, and future, thanks for the freedom.